So stillness is not attached to our problems. It's not attached to what we know and what we feel and what we're experiencing in this world. But when we come into that place of meditation or consciously letting things go and coming into that stillness, we get a moment or maybe longer, I hope that for you, where we're not pulled by these different components. So that's a beautiful, I think maybe for me, who's sort of uh, devotional or emotional, that element of clarity, of peace, is all around us. It is part of this world. It is there for us. It's right here for us to come to stillness in that place that is neutral, that place does not swirl around. And then we come into that beautiful place of clarity. Um, I, I will show this if it works. So here's Flower's words on stillness. But if we keep our heart with all diligence, knowing that heart refers to an emotional nature that has been readied for the Lord, that stands poised and is disciplined to inner quietness, to a sensitivity of spirit. Then for us, keeping the heart in preparation for the Lord will bring about wondrous renewals. And we bring him, we meet him in this stillness. I have a very simple example of how I was able to come into stillness. I was actually in process of a, of a meditation which I had, uh, it was a guided meditation, so I was listening to my AirPods, is that what they're called? And I forgot to turn off the do not disturb on my phone. So right in the middle of my meditation, I got jolted out, and it said, you have received a text from this person, and it happened to be a very stressful situation. So something that pulls me right into a very uncomfortable place where I haven't been able to yet uh, heal. So I thought, oh, no. But I was able to go right back in to the stillness. I just practiced letting go of that, and it let go. And all of that angst just went away. 